let's discuss about the significance of written and oral feedback which is given to the class which is uh, actually which actually takes place within the class which doesn't mean that the student have submitted their work and the teacher carries it home and then reads it or uh, carries it to to her office and reads it there and gives feedback no we mean the feedback the oral and written feedback which is actually given within the class let's discuss the dynamics let's discuss some of its dimensions and how teachers can make it a learning better learning experience there are various strategies uh, which teachers can employ to give written and oral feedback one of them is writing a report and the report i mean it depends the piece of writ, uh, writing being submitted by the students so writing a report about the strengths and weaknesses of students is important i mean it can be in the form of a paragraph it can be like given to a group of students or a combination of students i mean it depends what sort of students are there and what sort of genre they submit for uh, for assessment and it must contain some suggestions what to do next i mean it shouldn't be uh, considered the end of the game rather it should open doors for further dialogue for further negotiation so in this regards it is important that teacher might use the technique of uh, giving written feedback to individual students or in the form of a group or in the form of pairs or Uh, i mean whatever strategy is suitable to the context of that particular class so the feedback which is given in the class can be brief if it's accompanied by a class handout by class handout i mean the handout which contains general comments about the content grammar organization and overall development of the argument so what's the importance of this uh, written and oral feedback in the class is to show the students that their work is important what they are doing is important and it also helps teacher keep record of the students progress so these strategies uh, include sometimes uh, us giving awarding grade to the students but if the grade is given um, it should be accompanied by some formative comments the formative comments not only should um justify the award, uh, grade awarded but also construct the students in terms of what to do next and it's important to keep in mind one of the important strategies which is to make the ex- assessment criteria explicit to the students at every point of writing so making criteria explicit can help students understand what's wanted from them uh, what teacher expects from them so in this regard another important strategy is to use of exemplary texts for example a teacher might think of bringing in model texts which students can see compare and improve or if the class is small maybe showing one of students or work couple of students or three students work displaying it in the overhead projector and showing it to the students or giving them the handouts might help them see what what they have written what's the gap between their writing and other writing so the main agenda the main point is to help teacher know what's actually what students are doing and how they are doing and uh, these elements of oral and written feedback should be accompanied by feelings of positivity uh, feelings of um, encouragement which not only engenders self esteem and identity but also makes students take um, charge of their own writing 